I mean, one of the things I just noticed today, coming that pen in there, was, uh, I noticed when, when, when I first saw the humming, and I noticed it again today, there's this, the, the, the few drips that exist on that painting. And today, it, it reminded me of a, 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 a moment when I saw some war, early Warhol paintings in New York, and it was a, it was a painting of a free joy washing machine or something. And it was a very you know, graphic rendition of this object. Mm. But it had a couple of drips on it. And I can remember coming out of that, you know, being so moved by these drips, which sounds absurd and ridiculous, but it transformed this Warhol painting you know, into something that wasn't just a graphic no, it's it's thing. It, 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 it's it, touching. It, it had it had a, a, a life as, as a yeah. as a an actual painting, exactly. you know, and it was, and that's what I felt about that today when I came and I, I thought, you know, that it's that drip so kind of important that it it does something, um, you know, however you might look at that and sort of try to deal with it in terms of image. The drip is a is is a, is, is symbolic of something. It's you know. symbolic of of it of. The touch of, of the reality it's, of the it, it sound, but it also sounds terribly romantic. So, you know, it's like it, it shows that you know an artist has made this. It's a horribly yeah, kind of romantic no, thing, right. but actually, it's you know it's probably true that this particular fur is it's a nice quality fur, and this is some that had a bit of a roll left from some sculptures I made a long time ago. Uh, I thought there's something particularly unpleasant but interesting about this, just as a fur fabric, the darkness of it, and the fact that it's a nice quality, I'll, I'll start with that. Um, and I was looking at the marks that you get with your finger when you rub the fur, mm. you, you, you know, it, it all, they almost don't need anything, do you? You could just make a painting, just, you know, change it every day, you could just, and then you start to dare yourself. <laughs> once you get, once you get going, you think, Okay, I know the territory, I've re-established a kind of territory. Mm. What can I do to test myself out a bit? Um, what dare I do? And so, small things become very challenging, you know. Um, painting on a on fur, you end up with the paint marks being slightly on the surface and they, they, they dry to a sort of scab-like quality, they have a kind of surface and crustacean. Um, and at some point I thought, mm, I, wonder, I wonder what happens you know, if, I, if, I, if I add another material. Now, I haven't made any really things scary. before by, you know, by sticking a piece of... And so I had lots of fur fabric around in the studio. And I, th I can remember s saying, you know, one day, dare I do this? Dare I stick on a bit of fur onto fur? and have a kind of collaged colour thing going on. And it seemed like a ridiculously terrible idea, you know, a really, really bad idea, that somehow it might work if, if, if I just cut out a bit of orange fur and stick it on. And then with a little bit of manipulation. Especially as you call it orange. Well, what do you think? Know, my colour, my colour sense has been described as slightly wet by, by anyway. more than one person. <laughs> um, you know, it was a, it was a, it was about trying to deal with something that you think is so ludicrous, mm. but interesting. And how do you kind of tighten it up to just make it work formally, I suppose? Um, and so I made it those two and thought, actually, they're, they're kind of interesting. Um, and then I ran out of that fur. Uh, and I, I don't know whether this one came next. But I thought, well, if I can do that, how can I now do the same again and really do something you know, disgraceful in, terms of, really in aesthetic terms? How can I really it's something? really naughty, that fur. Um, yeah. Um, But having given myself a degree of license to say, well, you know, if I can do that, I can do something else. Yeah. Not, nothing is nothing then becomes barred in a way that, that you know I'm still working within a fairly tight, if 
you like, aesthetic framework. You know, yeah, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not sticking you're not on going mental. pictures of horses or yeah, games exactly. or, you know, we're, we're yeah. just using the fur and a pair of scissors. But, but the stretching thing, you know, not, <coughs> you know dare I do a bit of stretching. Dare you have something that isn't flat. Yeah. Apart, yeah, I mean, this is a bit scary, this. But then I, you, know, you go up at the end of the day and feel really pleased with <laughs> You know, you, you smile to yourself and think, right, you bastards, I've done this. <laughs> Somebody's going to see it at some point. I'm not going to be the only one. <laughs> has to deal, deal with this. This dubious um, arrangement. <laughs> and then, you know, a couple of days later, it becomes mainstream activity. It becomes normal. It becomes acceptable. You know, I've, I've dealt with my embarrassment at making such a thing. And then you go on to the next one. It plays a kind of formal game where the colour is actually inside. Mm -hmm. It's not on the surface. And so it has a kind of op thing going on. Yes. And that I found very interesting. Mm -hmm. that, you know, there was all, it was something to do with light and the way that the light is actually inside the surface, behind the surface mm -hmm. somehow. And I like the way that you, when, you know, when you look at the, these kind of objects, it's very hard to focus on them. Because that the, you you know you can't you can't really get a grip of the surface. Yes. Um, and it's, it's it's a similar thing with that when you know any photographer who tries to photograph people you know will say it's very they're very difficult because they absorb light and there's something about the darkness that you get in that dark brown there that is it's not light paint because it's it's a real darkness because the light is being lost within the pile of the fabric. Yes. And, and I find that fascinating. Like soot, you know, there's something darker about soot than you can ever get from paint. And there's something about about that. It's why you can make the you make finger marks, you know, because you alter the, the way light. Mm -hmm. um, and I said years ago that you know solid marble as an ideal material for you know making sculpture, fur fabric is much more sensitive to handling light mm -hmm. than marble ever was. And it's true, you know, in, in a way, the, the, the surface is, is, is quite extraordinary. 